Hey guys, in this video, I have this uh, charger that was sent to me for review uh, by Hobby Porter. It is the uh, Toolkit RC M6 uh, charger, and any RC hobbyist should have a decent charger. And the great thing is the price has come down significantly. Along with the price, so has the uh, size of the chargers, and they are super tiny now and comes with tons of features. So before we go any further, I just wanted to show you some of the specifications um, by showing you the back of the box, which lists them really well. Uh, but just wanted to highlight some of the uh, features that you would find in a charger like this. The M6 is rated at 150 watts at 10 amps, so it can charge up to six cell batteries as long as your input source can provide it. It can take input voltages from seven volts all the way up to 28 volts. So this makes it an ideal uh, charger for a wide range of applications. Along with charging, you can use it for S-Bus, D-Bus, and PPM signal testing. You can also use it for PWM signal generating uh, when it comes to testing servos. There's also a power supply mode with adjustable voltages and amperage. Um, so it also does like cell balancing. And of course, firmware updating is very simple. It's just a matter of copying the firmware file onto your uh, charger when you plug it in via the USB. So it does have like this uh, 1.8 inch LCD screen and these are the touch controls uh, up and down and uh, select and back. And over on the left side, this is the input. This is where you would plug a battery or an adapter of some sort that would provide the input voltage. So it can range from seven volts all the way to 28. And this is the uh, USB port that is used to update it as well as it provides, it could be used to charge a USB device. And over on this side, this is the uh, balance charger section. So this is the output for your battery. And these are some uh, venting um, slits. And then on the bottom, there's this fan. And there is this these tabs here that allow you to uh, put the charger at an angle so it's easier for you to look at the screen. So some nice touches and it is extremely small. And here you will find the uh, USB cable. And this cable is used to charge, oh sorry, it's used to update the firmware on the device. So it's got uh, uh, USB-A on both ends. Um, so that can come in handy later on if there is a firmware update. And this is the manual. I didn't bother to read it, but uh, you certainly can. So to power this charger, it actually doesn't come with a wall plug or anything. And it accepts input from uh, seven to 28 volts. So you can, as long as you have something that can plug into this XT connector, um, it, whether it be a, um, a battery, another battery or a wall plug. In my case, I actually have this adapter here and it is a DIN plug that plugs into the XT connector. And with that, I can use this uh, 12 volt um, wall plug. Just keep in mind that if your input is 12 volts and say two amps, your output can't be any higher than that. So uh, you're limited by your input source um, in terms of what you can charge. To charge the various batteries, you'll need the corresponding adapter. These are assortment of the ones that I have in my collection that I made. You can obviously buy these yourself, but if you're handy with a soldering iron, you can make one yourself. And this one's for a JST battery, which I also made. And the next one is for a transmitter battery. So it uses a servo type of uh, connector. Looks like a servo connection. And then this one here is for the older style Tamiya batteries. You can buy some pre-made ones for a few dollars. This one has most of the popular connections and you need two, one for the input and one for the output. So in this example, I will be powering the charger with a 12 volt adapter. And then I will be using one of these adapters to um, output it to a battery. This single cell battery uses a JST plug. So I have the corresponding adapter here which I will plug up to the battery. If you go to the measurer section, it will allow you to monitor the battery voltage. So in this case, since it is a single cell LiPo, you'll see that it is 3.75 volts. And we hit back and then you can get to the charger section, hit enter, hit enter to select charge and then enter again to begin charging your battery. As it's charging, you'll see that it's charging at a rate of two amps an hour. 
and it is currently at 3.191 volts and of course a fully charged single cell battery will be 4.2 volts you can cancel the process at any time by hitting back and then ok and then back again and that will bring you back to the main menu one thing to note is that if you have a battery that is at least two cells and up you will need to plug in the uh, balance plug in order to properly charge it the balance plug makes sure that uh, that all the cells within a multi-cell battery is equally charged if you have a single cell battery you wouldn't need to plug this uh, balancer in in this next example you can use larger capacity batteries to charge another battery Typically, you'd have a 5,000 milliamp hour or 10,000 milliamp hour battery that you'd use as a source for charging your smaller batteries. This effectively turns your charger into a portable one that you can use on the road. So after plugging in your source battery, you can now see that the charger is powered on. And now you can plug in your uh, output for the, basically the battery that you want to charge. You have to make sure that your input battery can supply enough amps and voltage to your target battery. You want to want to charge a six cell battery with a two cell battery as the source. The Toolkit RC M6 charger is a very compact charger with a lot of features. Everything I mentioned will be in the description. Whether you have a large selection of batteries or just a handful, every RC enthusiast should have one. Anyways, that's it for this video and I will see you next time.